Hello, hello, hello. Did you know you can smile away pain? It's true, my friends. Hi, I'm Jane Hogan, the wellness engineer, and I worked as a real engineer for 30 years until the physical pain of rheumatoid arthritis told me I had to make a change. I reversed the pain naturally, and now I'm a functional medicine health coach, and I help other people, and I love teaching people how to release pain naturally. This show is Wellness by Design, and it's all about helping people design a life so that they can release pain naturally based on what their own body needs. So welcome to the show today. I am talking about I'm talking about um, how you can release pain by smiling and the health benefits of smiling. So I've been doing a whole bunch of reading, looking at some studies, and I'm going to tell you about them today. So really interesting. Oh, let me slide down here uh, on my notes. So the interesting thing is that your smile does not even have to be a real smile. It can be a fake smile. Super interesting, these different studies that have been done. I got chopsticks here to show you. So one study, the way they um, the way they tested this was they created, they didn't tell the participants, obviously, what they were doing, but they got some participants to hold a chopstick in their mouths. So you can see by doing this, you're creating the simulating a smile, but it's not because an emotion is making you making the person smile. So the act of holding the chopstick in the mouth creates a smile. And uh, when they did this, they measured this one study. This was done in uh, 2012 at Midwestern University. They measured the stress response. So some people had to hold the chopstick, some people had to smile, and some people just weren't told anything. And they were given these um, complicated tasks to do that were kind of stressful um, anyway. And they measured the, the stress response, and they found that whether the person was fake smiling or whether the person was really smiling, it didn't matter which one. They had a lower stress response. Interesting, hey? Another study that was done, um, uh, this was in 2020, so not that long ago, uh, they, they did the same thing with a pin. And this study was done like they had participants in Japan and Sweden and somewhere else. So like multicultural. And they did the same thing. They Well, what they did in this case was they got some people to hold a pin in their teeth. So that created a smile. And then some people had to hold a pin in their lips. Definitely not a smile, right? More like a frown. <laughs> so in this one, they uh, they were activating different facial muscles and they, um, they looked into what happened. And what they found was that when we smile, we actually, it releases different um, hormones in and neurotransmitters, neuropeptides in our brain. So what happens when we smile, the, the uh, brain releases potent neuropeptides that improve communication. So uh, those include, uh, they, they, they release kind of slowly, but have a prolonged response. So oxytocin and vasopressin are those neuropeptides. They also found out that the brain releases neurotransmitters, which neurotransmitters act like quickly and like give that like immediate kind of boost. So these ones are dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. We know those are all good ones, right? So um, these, these, when we have the neuropeptides and the neurotransmitters released, we get a whole host of positive physical and, and emotional responses as well. So it's interesting, all of these, these are released, whether it's a fake smile or a real smile. So you don't have to go around with a pen or a chopstick in your mouth. You can just put on a fake smile and uh, whether or not you're feeling like smiling, putting on the fake smile or putting on a real smile, either one of them can have a whole host of positive benefits on your emotional and physical health. Now, let's go into the benefits the health benefits of smiling. So as I mentioned already, elevates your mood. So when we... Um, we 
have these uh, this fake smile or re real smile, we get these neuropeptides, neurotransmitters, which are mood elevating. So elevate your mood whether it's fake or not. Number two, relieve stress. As I mentioned, the study found that there was actually a lower stress response, whether people were smiling genuinely or whether they were doing the fake smile, also called a deshen, deshen I think it's called, deshen smile or covert smile. Um, we also get a boost to the immune system. So number three is boost the immune system. So we found that by improving this mood, mood has been studied many, many times, the effect of mood on the immune system. And when our mood improves, the immune system improves. So fake or real, <laughs> they're both going to cause your mood to improve. When your mood improves, your immune system improves. Uh, also, they, they found there's more studies needed, but they, uh, they found that it seems to also lower blood pressure. So uh, again, laughter in particular has been studied. So laughter, again, whether it's fake or real, is laughter, uh, it, it improves the blood pressure. So Again, smiling probably has the same effect. This particular hasn't, smiling versus laughing hasn't been studied yet, but not that I know of anyway, but uh, we know that laughing does. So, but try, try it out for yourself. If you've got a blood pressure monitor at home, try out, uh, you know, testing your blood pressure beforehand, then smiling for 10 minutes or so and test your blood pressure again, see how you're doing, even if it's just make fake smile. All right. Also, here's the one that I'm really, uh, really keen on and would love to share with my audience. And that's the lowering of pain, lowering of pain. So this was a study done in 2020 and they evaluated the effects of various facial expressions, uh, including genuine smiles, fake smiles, grimaces, <laughs> and just no expression at all. And while, while people were receiving a needle injection, okay? So they're, they, they're put, having these different facial expressions, different people with different facial expressions while they receive a needle. And so they, they measured some physio physiological responses. So um, they measured like heart rate, and then the people were uh, asked to self-report uh, their, uh, their emotions, their stress, and their pain levels as well. So what they found that both the real smiling, fake smiling, and the grimacing <laughs> all uh, resulted in improved pain experiences, so less, less pain. So smiling they figure releases the natural painkillers that uh, elevate mood and relax the body uh, uh, somewhat. So the grimacing, it's interesting because the grimace is kind of similar in terms of the facial muscles that are used, but I would suggest smiling, not grimacing. Okay, let's see. Benefit number six helps other people. When other people see you smile, they feel happy too. I mean, do you ever go into a store or anything like that? And when they, when the checkout person is smiling, it makes you feel better. You feel like smiling too. So when you smile, you make other people feel better. And when other people feel better, um, you know, we all have an energy that we release through our emotions. Like we're, we're always sending out energy from our emotions. So when we smile, even if it's a fake one, if we're bringing other people up, then their, their mood is elevated. They're going to be sending out better signals in terms of their emotions, better vibrations. We're all going to feel good, right? We elevate everybody up when we smile. Okay. And, uh, number seven makes you more attractive. Every, the, the perception is that, and it's true, people are more attractive with a smile on their face. Um, and you know, they, they say the most attractive thing you can wear is, is a smile. So just, uh, yeah, it, it, wear a smile and, uh, it always makes you more attractive. Don't worry about the wrinkles. <laughs> Don't worry about those lines. Wear the smile and you'll be more attractive.
Number eight, improves confidence and appearance of success. When someone is going around with a smile, they do appear more confident. They do appear more successful and they probably will be more successful because look at all this elevated mood stuff that's going on. Lowering the stress response. When you smile and your stress response is lowered, you can think better. So this, that central nervous system that we got that's running everything, when we're in a stressful state, it doesn't run efficiently. So all of our systems don't run efficiently, including our cognitive function. So put a smile on your face, your stress level goes down, and all of your body functions improve, but your cognitive function improves as well. That will make you more successful, right? <laughs> So smiling helps you be more successful. And number 10, uh, smiling improves longevity. So many studies have shown that, uh, and this is actually associated with genuine intense uh, smiling, is associated with longer life, long living longer, and smiling, laughing go together. So there you go, my friends. My suggestion to you is that you smile while. Smile while you are doing anything. So you don't have to be around other people. You can smile while you're by, by yourself. Um, I, I remember a friend of mine, I used to see her driving around all the time, always with a smile on her face. And she was in the car by herself. And I was like, what's she smiling at? And I thought, well, what's wrong with that? So smile while you're driving, smile while you're exercising, smile while you're eating, smile while you're doing anything. And it's going to have a whole host of benefits. Uh, you'll feel better. The people around you will feel better. And you'll be improving your immune system, your heart rate. You'll probably be lowering your blood pressure. And you'll also be, if you've got pain, you'll be relieving pain as well. Uh, there's a great quote by Groucho Marx. So for people my age probably will have heard of Groucho Marx, but if you, if you are younger, Groucho Marx was a comedian. There's uh, the three of them, the Marx brothers that were uh, quite funny. Anyway, he's, he's quoted as saying, a clown is like an aspirin, only he works twice as fast. So it's a natural pain killer. Definitely. Smiles are natural, natural pain killers and laughter. In fact, there's some places that have laughter therapy. Have you heard of this? Where you people just like sit around laughing and it, it has been shown to improve their health, emotional health and physical health as well. I had some friends when I was working back when I was working at the college, we, we started this thing where we decided we were going to laugh every day. So uh, we did it a few times. We didn't keep it up long term, but we did do it a few times. We just sat around and we just laughed at each other and get, you know, we did fake laugh in the beginning, like, <laughs> and then it's really contagious because when you hear someone laughing like that, then you laugh like that. Are you laughing right now? Let me know if you're laughing right now. Um, so if you, if you laugh, the more you laugh, the better you feel. <clears throat> Remember that scene from, um, Mary Poppins. I love to laugh and the whole song about that. And it really, really is contagious. So give it a try. Try laughing. Try smiling. Even if it's a fake smile, you're going to have some health benefits. So my tip today, I always ask when I have a guest on the show, I always ask uh, what's one action someone could take today to improve their health. So guess what my action is for you today? Your one action today is to smile more, even if it's a fake smile. Smile more and you're bound to feel better. And if you've got pain, you will have less pain. Okay, my friends, have a great day. Let me know if you found this helpful, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay. Give it a try. Try laughing and uh, see how you feel and let me know. Okay, bye.